Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your monthly tarot forecast. Before I get started with the reading, I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, and just all of the support that you show me each and every day. If you are interested in receiving a daily oracle guidance message, I do actually draw and upload to my Instagram and Facebook page every single day a daily oracle guidance card. Um, so if you want some additional guidance aside from my weekly or monthly uh, tarot forecast, definitely head over to Instagram or Facebook and follow me. If you are interested in receiving a private reading, uh, head over to my website, read, read how I do offer my private readings. I do actually have my website linked below in the description bar, so if you are interested in a private reading, definitely head over to my website. For these general tarot forecasts, um, make sure that you're not just watching your sun sign, but your moon sign and your rising sign or ascendant sign as well, because um, with these general tarot forecasts, you know, some weeks you might resonate more with one, one sign, and then other weeks you actually might resonate more with, let's say, your moon sign or your rising sign. Uh, and sometimes you, you'll actually resonate with all of the signs, and you can actually um, gain more insight um, by watching your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. So um, again, I just want to thank you guys so very much for all of your support, all of your support, all of your comments. You guys are just truly awesome. Um, and, and if you are interested in donating to my page to help support my channel, I do actually have on my website a donation uh, link as well. So definitely head over to my website. If you are interested in donating to my channel, I do wish you guys just a wonderful month. Stay tuned for the reading. Hi Pisces, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your July 2016 monthly tarot forecast. For this forecast, I will be using a Celtic cross spread. I do use a Celtic cross spread for all of my monthly tarot forecasts. I'm also using the Thelema Tarot along with my daily guidance from your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. All right, so upcoming future messages for Pisces for July 2016. Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. What does Pisces need to know? Please show me upcoming future messages for Pisces. Pisces we have the nine of cups in the empress that just flew out for you that is beautiful wish fulfillment happiness emotional abundance coupled with new beginnings very blessed energy wonderful so you guys actually might be um, receiving a wish come true in the month of July so this is really nice all right sticking those back in I want to see if they come back out Coming future messages for Pisces. All right, Pisces. So let's take a peek at the bottom of the deck. It is the Hanged Man. Now, the Hanged Man talks about a period of suspense, feeling like you're in limbo with something. Sometimes this is an energy that comes in because spirit wants us to, wants us to take a step back and wants us to look at the larger picture, look, look at the larger picture as a whole because there might be something that we're missing. Uh, perhaps a fresh perspective is needed. Um, 
And this is what I'm looking at as the overall energy for the month of July 2016, Pisces. All right, um, but what I'm seeing here, by the end of the month, I think you're gonna actually be um, far from this hanged man energy. Um, and with the hanged man, it is very much a temporary energy. So it's not something that's gonna last a very long time. At the center, and this could be what you're feeling right now because I am filming this at the end of June. For some of you, you might be feeling this right now currently or as you um, start the month of July. We do have the high priestess, very nice. And this is just a beautiful deck. So the high priestess, uh, can represent your energy. For some Pisceans, you might be incredibly secretive, mysterious, uh, very spiritual, maybe trusting your intuition at this time. You might be highly intuitive. What I do have crossing is the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you, um, maybe you're playing your cards close to your chest. Um, this definitely could be within like a career situation because we have Pentacles here. Um, for others, it can be with a money situation. This could be something going on with maybe three people people or a group of people. Um, this also could have something to do with maybe even a home. There, there might be something that you're working on, something that you're focused on with the Three of Pentacles. This is a worker energy. So something might be taking up a lot of your time, a lot of your, your effort, your energy. Um, maybe you're trusting your intuition with this. Maybe you're listening to your intuition when it comes to a work situation or something that you've been putting a lot of time and effort into. Um, the High Priestess can represent secrets, though. For some of you, this is maybe you focusing on the unknown, working very hard maybe to find something out. And that could be why we have the Hanged Man energy here, because you're in that maybe waiting period or that limbo period. Now, at the foundation, which because of this energy, we have this current energy, I do have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles can represent a decision for some of you. And because it's pentacles, it's normally in regards to career, finance, home, something in the physical realm. Uh, but the two of pentacles can also represent um, the same thing happening over and over again. Feeling stuck, feeling like a decision is either relevant or needed. Um, but yes, going back and forth with something, feeling like the same thing is happening over and over again. You know, this also can be for some Pisceans, this might be you juggling your finances a little bit, uh, trying to make ends meet. Now, in the recent past, I have the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords can come up when the energy is at rest. Uh, but the Four of Swords can represent you spending time alone, you going within, you listening to your intuition, you just simply taking that you time. Um, for some of you, this is this is a healing energy. You might have healed from something in your past. Um, yeah, this can be you relaxing, recharging your batteries, recuperating. Um, but it also can come up when the energy is at rest. And we do have that hanged man. Uh, energy at the bottom of the deck and now what's crowning you is the eight of wands this is what you're thinking about this is what you want you want things to progress forward the eight of wands is that very fast-paced hasty energy so you're thinking about you know moving forward with something or this is the maybe type of energy that you want to come in Pisces you want things to move forward maybe you feel stuck with the hanged man uh, the Eight of Wands is, is things improving, things looking up, things things taking off, things happening. It's very positive um, and also can rep represent communication. So, um, you know, this is you maybe thinking about communication, wanting to receive communication. Maybe for some of you, you're waiting on a decision. Now, what I have coming up in the near future, and this could this could very well be around the second week of the month. We actually have the Two of Cups here. 
so this is really nice so we have the two of cups so for some of you this might be a relationship situation for others this might be a work situation now the two of cups is you and another person for some of you this is yes um, a romantic relationship this will be maybe be around the second week you spending more time with your partner um, getting to know your partner on it on a deeper level this can also be you reconnecting with your partner uh, the two of cups for me is 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 really having that very deep emotional connection with another person um, so for some for some of you maybe you are um, reconciling with someone at this time maybe you're getting together with someone at this time for others um, maybe you're spending more time with your partner and connecting on a deeper level and then for other Pisces you know if this isn't romantic for you this is going to be you with someone else maybe you're working with this person this could be a business partner this could be a family member this could be a friend this is you spending a lot of time with someone else your relationship with someone else is quite significant around the second week here maybe this person is someone that you work with for some Pisceans now in the position of your power I do have the eight of pentacles so in regards to career and finance, Pisces, you're working very hard. Um, this is another worker energy. The Eight of Pentacles for me is my craftsman card. You can see here she's putting a lot of effort into this craft, um, into her craft. And, you know, maybe she's working um, on getting a promotion or maybe she's receiving some sort of acknowledgement for that hard work. Um, this could be for many Pisceans, this could be you actually receiving a raise or receiving a promotion or some sort of um, recognition or acknowledgement at this time. And then for other Pisceans, this could be a new job. This is traditionally an apprenticeship energy. So maybe for some other Pisceans, this is you actually starting a new job. Um, and maybe you were working with this person. Maybe this person was helping you get a new job for some Pisceans. Um, but in the position of how other people around you, normally those closest to you are, are seeing you, we do have the Ace of Cups. And this is very, very nice. Uh, the Ace of Cups along with the Two of Cups and I don't want to really spoil the final outcome just yet, but for, for some of you, this is definitely um, a romance. This is definitely a, a love relationship that's quite significant here in the month of July. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning. This is a new beginning that is fulfilling on an emotional level. This is a blessing from the heavens, a beautiful, a beautiful new beginning that's being given to you. Um... For some of you, this can be you reconciling with someone. For others, this could be you meeting someone new. Um, and this is in the position of how other people around you are viewing you. So for some of you, yes, um, that's, that's in regards to a love relationship. And then for others, this is definitely maybe a new job. Because um, a job that you receive... I know, sorry about that. Let me shut my ringer off. A job that you receive... Um, that you absolutely fall in love with can be the Ace of Cups because it's a new beginning that you fall in love with, a new beginning that, you know, fulfills you on an emotional level. Now, in your hopes and fears position, I do have the Devil. So for maybe uh, some Pisceans, this is you fearing maybe things happening too fast. Uh, this is in the hopes and fears. So for some of you, maybe you're hoping for a passion with the devil. And then for others, maybe you're fearing that things are just happening too fast. Uh, maybe you want, it, want to take it slower. Um, but then for others, I mean, this is you maybe hoping for passions on top of passions, to be honest. Uh, in the final outcome position, so right at the end of July, going into August, we have the lover's card. And for some of you, this is this is talking about a head or heart decision, a choice that is being made. We have this Two of Cups, and we have this Ace of Cups, and now we have the Lover's card. So um, for some of you, this is maybe making a decision in regards to a relationship. Um, For others, this can definitely be connected to like a business partnership, a job, 
um, something that you've been devoting a lot of time and energy into. And now we did start out with the hanged man here. Um, the four of swords in the recent past and crowning you is the eight of wands. So for some of you, maybe this is a relationship that you are waiting on or maybe was, you know, in some sort of limbo period. Maybe you were taking a break from your spouse. Um, but it definitely looks like things progress. You definitely move out of that energy. Um, and this can, of course, be you guys reconciling. Um, in regards to career, work, and finance, um, I definitely see improvement here. The Eight of Pentacles is really, really good. This is you building on your security. Um, for some of you, it's you actually... Um, starting a new job and then for others it's you actually receiving some sort of acknowledgement maybe a raise maybe a promotion I am going to draw you an additional guidance card Pisces for the month of July 2016 but beautiful month I mean emotionally this is wonderful um, financially this is wonderful I think you're quite passionate, very creative, quite passionate, highly intuitive this month, Pisces. Um, the only real caution I can give you is, is don't move too fast. If you are starting a relationship, you know, all things in moderation, definitely don't just dive, you know, right into it too deep um, really quickly. Definitely, you know, move at a, at a nice pace, get to know each other. You know, moderation is key. All right, so some additional guidance for Pisces for July 2016. And then for others, if you're not making a decision in the final outcome position, this is just passion. This is passion on top of passions. So for some Pisceans, with this Two of Cups energy and the Ace of Cups here, this could be you meeting someone, are you reconciling, and really connecting on a deeper level. And then maybe towards the end of the month, things progress into maybe a more passionate or physical relationship for some of you. Okay, so I had a bunch of cards flip out. I'm going to pick from this group of cards, Pisces. Interesting. We have play. Very nice. Play. Beloved one, it's time to set aside work for a while. Don't worry. We will oversee your responsibilities to their completion. Playfulness and laughter will lift your energy so that you'll return to work with a renewed perspective and heightened energy. Very nice, Pisces. So make some time to play this month, Pisces. I definitely think you're going to. So I do hope that you enjoyed this reading, Pisces. I hope you have a wonderful month of July. Take care.